So the Betfred Bowl is next. This is almost the Liverpool Gold Cup, but no Gold Cup winner in this one. Gold Cup winner going elsewhere this week. So Acaster Malvis at the top four, Darren Thompson. It's three miles on one furlong. It's grade one, of course. Acaster Malvis, Darren Thompson. Bucco Martin Leadham, Q Card, David Hooley. Flynn's Bullet Martin Leadham, Geraldo, Darren Thompson. Houston Obsessive, Vinnie Gerard, Lawn Tennis, Graham Clitterbuck, Lion Zone, Alex Cherry, Lord Decoy, Padre Hogan, Obsidian Shard, Leon Van Rensburg, Saint Loire, Stu Gray, Vimiero Bois, and Bronwyn Killing for David Robertson. Catherine the Great, Paul Rhodes, Club Card, David Hooley. Found her voice, Leon Van Rensburg, Joe Montrey, Beckwith, Madeline Rose, Padre. Craig Hogan and what no son, Craig Beckwith. So 19 runners then. And called in and away. And only got one less runner in this than we've got in the Grand National tomorrow, which is unthinkable, isn't it? As they get to the first, as they get over that, only 20 going to post tomorrow in the Grand National. But it's Acaster Malvis in the lead. From Houston Obsessive in second. Flynn's Bullet is third. That one is a known front runner. Won the four miler at Cheltenham last week from the front, dropping down in trip today due to not really being able to get into any of the other long distance races other than the Grand National and the stable had two which they prefer to this one including last year's winner so Acaster Malvis is the leader to Houston Obsessive in second Flynn's Bullet has not gone to the lead today in third then comes Lion Zone and Lawn Tennis and Jomon as they get to the third and they're all safely over the third and looking towards about Geraldo just the early back marker, but they've all gone over the first three okay, and two complete circuits of the track ahead of them, and Acaster Malbis is in the lead from Lion Zone, about three lengths back in second, then Houston Obsessive is back in third, Flynn's Bullet is fourth, then Catherine the Great and Joma after that one, then a gap to found her voice, and Q Card, the Grey Lawn Tennis is the one widest on the track, and the one who's just at the back struggling to go the pace that they're at is Bucco who would probably prefer another half a mile to be honest as they race down towards the next and Acaster Malbis is the leader a good three lengths for Darren Thompson the line zone second for Alex Cherry and the leader went right through that so did the second the first two making bad mistakes and that's allowed the Field to bunch up just a little bit, but Acaster Malvis is still clear. Houston Obsessive has now gone through to take a share of second with Lion Zone as they get into this next one. Then Flynn's Bullet is after that one, and then found her voice. And with Catherine the Great, Q Card, and Joe Mon as they get over the next lawn tennis. Still widest on the track, Bucco still the back marker. They take this next turn then. And this Tight, fast Liverpool track. And Acaster Malvis is clearing the lead by a good three lengths or so to Lion Zone in second as they get out. And another mistake by Acaster Malvis. Can't keep making mistakes like that. Another mistake also by Q Card, who's now dropped down the field a little bit. But Acaster Malvis's lead is just a length now to Lion Zone in second. Houston Obsessive third. Founder of always fourth, Flynn's Bullets in fifth, then Joe Mon and what no son, and then Catherine are great as they get over number eight. And they're also for the David Rawson pair now just shuffled to the back. Vimiero Bois and Bronwyn killing Saint Loire also towards the rear. But it's Acaster Malbis in the lead over fence number nine. All safely over that one as well with a one or two. Untidy jumps in rear, Vimiero Bois in particular, that was a four at Cheltenham last week and didn't jump that last fence particularly well. Those two David Robertson horses at the back both were in this in preference to the Gold Cup winner who's going into a handicap I think somewhere this week as they get over the next and they're all safely over although Vimiero Bois was right down on his nose again and it's Acaster Malbis in the lead and as they come past the big screen past the winning post they've got one more circuit to go in the Betway Bowl and it's Acaster Malbis in the lead from Lion Zone in second then comes Houston Obsessive third and Joe Mon is fourth Founder Voice is five and Catherine the Great is six then Club Card and Gerardo and what no sort of in Lawn Tennis and Q Card and then Madeline Rose and then Bucco and Lord Decoy and Sam Loire, Obsidian Shard is after that one, then Bronwyn killing, and the one who's dropped right out the back is Flynn's Bullet, who couldn't get into the lead to dictate matters today, and Vimiero Bois is about to go past him and relegate him to last, but it's Acaster Malbis who's the clear leader by a length and a half, to Lion Zone in second, they're into the final mile now, Catherine the Great 
and found her voice making a move around the outside of Houston Obsessive. Jomon still going well on the inside, just behind them. Geraldo is getting closer, so too is what no son. The two cards of David Hooney yet to be played, the Q card and the club card, but they're both in there with chances. And Bucko is getting closer, so too is Madeline Rose. Lord Decoy leads the pack at the back, and one has lost his place. His Obsidian Shard, Flynn's bullets tailing off. They're getting over the 12th. They're all safely over it, and it's on a cast of Malbis, who despite one or two really iffy jumps, is still the leader by two lengths. Joe Mondo cruises into second and jumps that one really well. Boxed in a little bit now, though, by Lion Zone, who's moved into second. Catherine the Great on the outside is fourth. These have gone clear, but Bronwyn Killen has come. No, Vimiero Boisari is the one that's come through for David Robertson, who's now come through from the back to challenge in the leading group as they get over the 14th. They've got just three to take, and Joe Mondo has gone to the front. Jomon then just in front of Acaster Malbis from Catherine the Great in third. Here comes Geraldo with a good looking run. Vimiero Warren found her voice. Lion Zone still there. Q cards trying to get into it. So two round the outside. Now he's what no son. But they're racing to the third last. Over the third last they go. And Acaster Malbis landed back in the lead from Catherine the Great in second. Jomon between the two. Geraldo on the outside. These four are clear of found her voice as they come down to the second last. And Catherine the Great's gone on into the lead. Catherine the Great comes down to the second and last pops over it nicely. Joe Mon's over it in second. Here comes on the outside. What no son found her voice. He's getting going. Joe Mon's got a second win. San Luis a faller. It's Catherine a great in front from Joe Mon. What no son. They're coming down to the last fence and it's a very short running. It's Catherine the Great on the inside from Joe Mon and What no son. Catherine the Great on the inside jumps it well. Gets away from it well. What no son jumped it well as well. It's Catherine the Great from What no son. Catherine the Great on the inside is holding on and up towards the line. Catherine the Great takes it. What no son. And Joe Monfield, Geraldo found a voice, Club Garnet, Castanel, Alvis, Obsidian Shard got round today, all the way back to Flynn's Bullet, who was virtually tailed off, and the Professor Paul Rhodes is back with a bang in the Group 1 circle over the sticks. With that's probably his biggest jumps winner of the season, I think. Catherine the Great takes it for Paul Rhodes. What no son for Craig Beckwith second, who was also third with Joe Mon. Found her voice back to form in fourth for Leon Van Rinsburg and Geraldo for Darren Thompson was fifth.